Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of Apple Station TV. Estelle Fly, and today we have with us Niji Sanji Indonesia Zia Cornelia and Goofy alongside our special guest Xiao Yukiko. Yay! So much female energy today, I like. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Yukiko can give us a brief introduction for those who haven't met you before or oh, don't know you. This is already the second time I'm on Alpha Station. Yes, have you guys been watching or not? <laughs> yes. Hello everyone, I'm Xiao Yukiko, cosplayer in Singapore, and today we are here to look at Japan. Yes! Okay, okay. So, just an introduction. Previously, we showed you some locations in Japan that are linked to anime. And today, we want to show you more, but with an emphasis on places that would probably look good for like, you know, cosplay photos. That's why we have an expert here in front of us. Yeah! So, we have Yukiko back with us today, and we hope to have your comments on the places that we're going to show later. And then, as you notice, right, the studio looks a bit different. It's so festive today. So <laughs> colourful. I feel like I need to wave some sparklers. You, yeah, but you don't like doing it. <laughs> you can edit, edit two sparklers in our hands, yeah. that kind of. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so Yukiko, are you excited? Yes, let's yep. get started. Have you been to Japan before? I don't know. I wanted to go to Japan a lot. Mm. And then uh, 2019, I got the chance to, but then you know what happened. So you booked the ticket already and everything? Huh? Yeah. <sighs> well, <laughs> today we're here to bring you there. Okay. Wait, what, about your the eyes? what about Zaya? Has she been it's to Japan okay. before? Have you been to Japan? But it's okay, Zaya. You can just change your backdrop now. Then yes, we can bring you to anywhere now. <laughs> but take it army. from us. Me and Goofy have been to Japan uh, many times. Way too many times. Yeah, and it's still not enough. So yeah. it doesn't get easier, guys. It does not get any easier. Mm. Okay, so yes, these items that you're about to see is actually provided by J. Claire, and we will talk more about these items when we get back to the specific. I items being everything like uh, around here. Yes, yeah. items yeah. being all around these goodies. Us. Okay, so Zaya, Goofy and I will take turns introducing the places that um, that have been recommended as being suitable for cosplayers to use as backdrops for their photo shoots to you, Yukiko. So please feel free to chime in as a cosplayer, also as a sightseer because you've never been to Japan before, yeah. right? Yeah, so we are all humans that want to really, really go to Japan, so be sure to chime in also. Okay. <laughs> Um, once again, J. Claire, known as the Japan Council of Local Authorities for International Relations, is a joint organization of Japanese local governments to promote and provide support for local interna internationalization. Okay, so some of these activities include tourism promotion for the various local governments. Okay, there's also events in Japan that are actively welcoming cosplayers that would like to show everyone today. Mmm, so nice. Yeah, definitely you'll be interested in it, right? Yeah, okay, definitely. Okay. So, alright, let's not digress too much as the locations being shown today are the heroes of today's program. Okay, so let's move on ahead to our first location. <laughs> so, the first city we'll be looking at is called Ashikaga City in Tochigi Prefecture. The idea that we will look at these photos and then they come up with the ideas as to what title and character is suitable. Okay. So, okay. so what do you guys think? Man, look at the purple flowers. I mean, oh. In, in, I mean, clearly, this is just something you just cannot find in Singapore at all. No. Except on Google. Yeah. No, that looks like. No, but okay, okay. The, the whole point is it's really nice. It's something that we only can experience in Japan. Yes, exactly. And uh, this is not just one. I mean, I say, all the flowers you see here, right? It's just one tree, you know? You just belong to one tree. One tree, okay? One tree with all these flowers. God, why did you put oh, it all in Japan? All the nice things are in Japan, <laughs> not there. Sorry, you were saying, yeah? All the branches just spread out. Yeah, yeah. The flower just spreads all over the place. Yeah. Yes, you can see like they're actually poles to hold up the tree. So wow. they're like, Because it's so heavy. Because they really treasure that tree. Yeah, they don't cut off the branches. Like, yeah. And so, I, I, okay, I'm just gonna say, right? Mm. The, this is just one tree, but obviously the park is gonna have many trees of the same tree. <laughs> so can you imagine? Yeah. You're like in some K-drama or something, eh? Well, I, I, do, I feel like, 
I want to take wedding photos there. Exactly. It's so pretty. Okay, but okay. If it's an anime, you go. Where do you? Th- what, what anime do you think would be suitable? That's a Narikimetsu. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, ex- the part where they had the exams and everything. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'll go there become a demon slayer. I'll go there become demon now. <laughs> <laughs> I go there demon. Okay. You don't have to go there be a demon. I'll You're a demon like, here already. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'll just go to the demon and then I rah rah around the trees. <laughs> Zaya, do you have any? How about you? Do you have any, any ideas? Idea? Or what would be suitable? Here, here. Yeah. I, I really agree that it really puts demons here above anything else. Like that's the first thing that pops into my mind. Too. Right. Mm-mm-mm. And that tree is super old, so it's like 160 years old. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's almost as old as me. Almost, but but not, but not, not as older. old You're as you. Older. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Enough about the tree. Yes, oh my god, the petals, so nice. <laughs> the petals are so nice. The petals are so nice. You see on the floor. Even on the floor, you lie down on the floor, so you take photo. Eh. <laughs> this is how exciting this is, you know. Uh, I mean, it's one of those places where you know, if I were to die, I think heaven would look like this. If I open my eyes, it'd be flowers. It would just be these pretty flowers. Oh, I thought you say you want to die. You want to go there and die. <laughs> sorry. No. What in the world, do? <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's sorry. So great. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, please don't desecrate the park. Okay, let's move on to the next photo. Yeah, let's move on to the next photo. Okay, the next photo. This is a giveaway for Demon Slayer already, guys. Oh, the part where they, they yeah. drop the, the rock. Yeah, the rock. Right? When I had the Tamagotchi for the Demon Slayer one, one of the the, the, the challenges which we can buy at Ava Space yeah, Shop. Yeah, we can buy at Ava Shop. shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the challenges is to break the rock also. <laughs> Alright, okay, before we move on to the next photo, I have to introduce the place first, okay? Oh, yeah, sorry. Too, yes. too, too engrossed in that photo. <laughs> yes, it was very pretty. All us girls very excited. Yeah, excited. You see, okay. purple flowers. Okay. The first pick with the purple flowers is the Great Wisteria tree in the Ashikaga flower park and this tree is around 160 years old like you mentioned it blooms around mid-April to mid-May mid-April to how wow, oh, must really plan there must that's very yes, short yes yes you have to so you guys mm. can make future plans okay so uh, if you have time please be sure to visit accordingly if you guys can do it in the future <laughs> okay so now the next location it's called the Benki no Tewari Ishi at the Nagusa Itsukushima shrine it's approximately a 30 minutes drive from the Ashikaga Flower Park. So okay. you guys can like just So you take photo at the at the purple flowers today after you can run there and take photo this time. I mean <laughs> I think the the, the, the wisteria tree looks nice at night. So if anything, I would want to go to this location first and then move on okay. to the flower park. But that's just me. You know, if you guys want to go on a day, you guys do you, do your own planning. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah, so mm-hmm. if you look at this picture, it's definitely a total Demon Slayer giveaway. <laughs> like, I would do that. Yeah, I cannot think of anything else. Really? Would you cosplay anything or wear anything else in front of this rock? <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could wear anything and pose in front of this rock. Nothing can stop you, right? Even a oh, bikini man. also, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Would you agree with that, Yukiko Zeya? Would you wear a bikini in front of this rock? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you looking at? But you know what? You do you because it's your holiday. We are all desperate to go to Japan. You yeah. Why you want to put, enjoy yourself? Why do you want to put me between a rock and a hard place? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's a designated natural monument, by the way. So you mm. might want to rethink your bikini shot. You think I was such a natural natural monument. Monument. rock, man? <laughs> <laughs> so the story goes that monk Benke actually split the rock in two by his hand. Wow. Yeah, just by hand, he wow. split the rock. That's hardcore. Yeah. That's hardcore. Whoa. So maybe I guess you can have get photos of like, you know, like the shining. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go for the ripping apart pose? <laughs> because it's Benke do it, then why you can't do it, right? Okay, Inspired. you can go if you were to pose in front of the rock. How would you pose? Between <laughs> 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 a rock and a hard place again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if you, if you were to pose, right, you would have, your back would be facing the photo, right? Okay. <laughs> no, I thought maybe you can shoot from side, not behind. Then your face through that crack, then the photographer take through the crack. <laughs> actually, I did not think about that. That's actually very creative. I'll give you points for that. Arika, thanks. <laughs> Arika, thanks. <laughs> Zay, Zaya, Hizikiko, yeah, you guys haven't given answer yet. Who comes so? Zaya, how would you pose? How would you pose in front of the rock? I would. Is it allowed to stand on it? Oh, are you allowed to? Well, no, I don't think so. It's a natural, natural monument. monument. Mm. But if you can True. fly, it would be great. 
so you can levitate on top of it. Yeah, you could like do like a, a goddess thing, then you like a very gentle flying split rock thing. What's <laughs> 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 like split rock thing? <laughs> like like this, then you uh, like that. Oh, you know okay. that kind of thing. <laughs> why I go to tourist spots and I just do this next to the monument. This is the rock. Yeah, this is, this the, is rock. the other rock. And then I hold the flower and the <laughs> Okay, okay, I think we enough for this location. We need to Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the next spot. Ah, uh, the next spot is in Yamaguchi City in the prefecture of the same name on the west side of Japan. Ooh. Uh, and here are the photos we are going to be looking at the photos from the Chole Mosato Experiential Park. It is said that in recent years it has been popular with cosplayers for the scenery. Mm, really? Ooh. Wow, okay, interesting. Let's look at that. Let me see the photos. Wow, ah. flower. Yeah, like so this like first it. photo is the park's hydrangea area. Anything comes to mind for photos, cosplays? Mm, for me, I would like to shoot Hasuling there. There is this um, illustrious okay. class, the uh, three of them. Mm. And there's this art, official art, which is them with the flowers like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So the three is like it's just girls and in that scene. So okay, okay, nice. okay. I think it would be really nice to shoot there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So sad. Would you cosplay? There and then shoot here one day. They can bring this into a reality. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure your fans will like to see that. I'd like to see that. Mm. <laughs> how, about, how about you guys? Any ideas? Uh, I want people to propose to me here. <laughs> you want to get purple oh. tree, and then you want to say, how many times you want to get purple? How many times you want to get married? Uh? No, no, one is free wedding photos. Over here, he can propose to me. You don't plan your routes properly. Then the next location is the wedding ready, is it? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't expose me like that. Okay, for me, right, when I look at it, oh, I thought of Animal Crossing. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run. Are you gonna cosplay Animal Crossing there? Eh? No. <laughs> no. But I will still do the tourist photo where I. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need a bug catcher, you know, like the net. Yes. Yeah, you're like, you look like your net break in half okay. you're like, oh oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, what about, what about something clam? Do you think it's clam? <gasps> yes, X X X Holly. Uh, yes, but I think it needs to be uh, a little bit more. Like, I would tune the colors of the photo to be less bright because I think the color scheme for X X Holly is a bit more sepia, uh, <laughs> like warmer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but yes, yeah, I know yes. flowers. I, I mean, I would never say no to flowers, right guys? Not guys, right girls? <laughs> right girls, we never say no to flowers. Never, never. Yeah. I love flowers. Even if we say we don't need flowers, right? You get us flowers or we will never complain. Well, yeah, some girls actually do not really enjoy flowers. Then they can shut up. <laughs> she chose violence today. She woke up and chose violence today. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I can think of already. Like, how about yeah. anymore? No? Yeah. So there's more places. The next photo is in the same park, but oh, wow. it's obviously the different season, as you guys can see. Yeah. Everything is. It is autumn, definitely, right? Yeah. yeah. Everything I is like of, brown. I thought of Hakoki. Hmm? Oh. Ah. Oh, trees. <laughs> 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 I feel very hot now. Why would you bring him out? Is that your complaint call, ma? Yes. Yes, I agree with Hakuki. Mm, 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 Hardcore agree. Like just, just like Japanese themed stuff. Yes. Is there any more photos? Mm -hmm. like, like you said that you mentioned uh, there were cosplayers and stuff, right? Who use these backdrops. Any, any? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, oh. oh, they got Sakura trees too. Yeah. Oh, really very nice, right? On the left side, side it's Tohu, right? Oh, Tohu, yes. right? Yes, 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 yes. Wow, oh, they even step inside the river. Yeah, they go inside and play in the water. Eh. They're the yeah, posing other. in the water, now play in the water. In and your just... bikini again. Let's <laughs> <laughs> splash you. Then, I'm true. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tourism location, Goofy. 
Okay. Yeah, but they are so cosplay friendly. That's what I really appreciate. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Because it's, I feel it's like exactly cosplay friendly. Mm. Yeah, because which so I think it's, it's it's not that it's, it's not that just is the cosplayer. Like the park has also uh, the staffs. The staffs are like super nice. Uh, they will actually help you arrange spaces for you, for like cosplayers to change in and out of costume if you if you request it. Oh my god. So that that, that picture right there is the cosplayers with the staff. Excuse me. He's holding an umbrella. He's holding an umbrella so for both of them. <laughs> oh my god. They already have an umbrella and he's holding an umbrella for them. Exactly. Service. Yeah, we, I had a shoot long time ago at Chinese <laughs> Garden in Singapore. This was not the situation. <laughs> <laughs> they chase you away. Oh. Yeah, they chase you away. It's like the opposite. The security guy at you. Oh. <laughs> of course. Yes, what yes, yes. Hear, you Have you away? taken photos at Chinese Garden, like cosplay? Confirm, right? Yeah. It's very not much like that. <laughs> Nobody oh, dared to hold umbrellas for us. It's dying. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> People chasing you. You need away. to fight for the toilet. Yes, you need to mm. search for one because the toilets there are so scarce. <laughs> oh, this is a cosplay paradise. Yeah. True. Maybe Zay, this is your chance to ask your manager son for a new costume. They can go there and post ah, photos. Uh, inspired see? by hydrangeas. True. Yeah, inspired by hydrangeas. And at the river too, you know, you can like find new bikini. Costumes. Hey, dude, <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> pointing. Stop Why with the bikini, man. Why is it only a bikini? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a yukata <laughs> kind of look or something mm. to match the sakura ah, trees true. or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, the, 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 the stuff sun there is really very nice. Yeah, oh. but you said yeah. there are other things you can do also. Yeah. Hmm, there are other things to do. So besides of the photogenic spots, uh, there are uh, activities in the park. You can make like soba and then paper. This paper, uh, you can you can you can go to the soba workshop. Well, you can also eat your own handmade soba on the spot. So your success and failure only affects you. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, nice. So, I thought I thought eat the paper. <laughs> it, it was like oh, you can make your own no. soba. So if it's not nice, it's your fault. It's, it's your great. problem. It's your yes, it's <laughs> your problem. Like I'm not for poisoning. Yeah, for poisoning, it's you. It's all you. Oh my god. Okay. But, and the papers, um, the papers, the papers on the right. So there's like an actual paper making workshop. They actually te teach you how to make these Japanese papers, and you can also include patterns like the photos. Hmm. Oh. And as an example, we have this Japanese paper washi in the studio today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are these yes. these festive looking things. Man, I wish they could be yukatas, no? They, they make such pretty patterns for you. Okay, but these, these are washi oh, tapestry. True. So okay. these tapestries are um, tokoji washi. So washi means traditional handmade paper in Japanese. Mm. Uh, tokoji washi mm. has been produced in Yamaguchi for over 800 years. Guys, that's older than you, Zaya, by the way. Yeah. 800 years. <laughs> 800 years using traditional methods. <laughs> so they use Japanese mulberry, which is a kind of tree to make the paper. So the fiber of the mulberry is long and thick, which makes the color spread very beautifully across the paper. So um, for example, uh, we can take this, this yellow one behind me, right? Mm. So you can see that it's dark with like super bright colors. Mm. Actually, it's a bit like, is it Zaya color? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. bit. If you look closely, you can see how the color spreads along the yeah. fibers of the paper. Mm. So it's like got a nice oh. gradient effect. But definitely, I can see like wearing these peppers is like you got us, right? Yeah. Oh, you can actually, they, they actually have them in earrings as well, as you can see over here. Paper earrings? Yes, paper oh. earrings. Yeah. So you can wear them, but it's just not on your body, but on your ears. Okay, but a bit dangerous earrings. Uh. I, I wouldn't want to get them wet, you know? It feels a little bit, you know, like Dima said, Sreya Tanjiro has like an earring oh. like that. Maybe you can make, make your own. Uh. Not made of paper, lah, bro, but work with me here. But you know, it's like okay, you know, okay, okay. the idea <laughs> that you can create. On your own. Okay, okay. Your own creativity, okay. You okay. We'll just move on to the next location, your wedding location now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on, we're going to Kyushu. So we're gonna take a look at Yakushima, which is an island off the coast of Kagoshima Prefecture. So uh, if you look at this photo mm. we read right here. <gasps> yes. Wow. Can you try to guess like what anime could be related to this place? 
I can imagine Saitama blowing up a mountain here. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, that's really extreme. But I'm pretty sure you have another enemy in mind, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be sick though to see. Any any guesses? No other. It looks no fantasy-ish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, like a isekai or something. Maybe Final mm -hmm. Fantasy yeah. 14 online? <laughs> the critically acclaimed <laughs> party! <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm playing it now, but I'm saying, I mean, Isaiah also say it looks a little bit like fantasy, fantasy. Okay, la, okay, la, but I give you a chance, la, uh, Kina Studio Ghibli. <gasps> How's my uh... So you can imagine a castle floating. I mean, it could be anywhere, but okay, it's not so like foresty, mountainous. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Mononoke. You are Mononoke correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this scene is inspired by one of the scenes in Princess Mononoke. You can go check it out again uh, to see where it features in the movie. Just go watch the movie itself again. I mean, why not, right? But uh, Studio Ghibli, the official website, actually has a collection of screenshots on their site for their viewing. So, like, for comparison. Wow. Oh. Yeah. But, um, however, uh, just to let you guys know, for this place, right, in order to get to the Taiko Iwa Rock, uh, to get a photo of this view, this very specific view, you first need to hack through the most covered forest. And I we're talking about hours. I mean... What for the view? Yeah. And the air looks fresher and I'm not even there. And yeah. I can smell the fresh air from here. <laughs> but no, it looks like uh, matcha mochi balls in it. It looks very yummy, right? <laughs> the rocks. Marimo, uh, I don't like Marimo. But like moss balls. it looks so like serene and fresh. Like a deer is about to yeah. pop over kind. Well, what do you guys think? I think it's some scene from some fantasy show or something. Yeah, Prin Princess Monoke like... la, But other, yeah. other than Princess Monoke, can you envision like any other series? Mm. Mm. I feel like mm. a fa just like a random fairy, like elf, mm. a Zelda. Zelda? Yeah, yeah, it's really true. to the rocks, man. Or true. Zelda, that is not Zelda, that is Link. Oh, Link. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was, I was thinking I was having Link in mind when you said Zelda. I don't know why. I thought that <laughs> the game... But just, oh, sorry. Link, Link, Link was totally Zelda. just... Just... <laughs> camouflage. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to backpedal. You're, you're backpedaling. I'm uh. not. I'm not. I'm front pedaling. <laughs> right sorry, Zaya, you were saying something. What? Yeah, do you, oh, I wait, did? Oh, wait. And you did? <laughs> do you have anything to say, Zaya? <laughs> do you still stand by the fantasy look? Or, you know, fantasy kind of... Anime. Actually, yes. yes. It, it really, it really does have all of those, uh, it has those special Ghibli fantasy feel to it. Mm -mm -mm. it like Ghibli usually has these kinds of settings. Mm -mm. Yeah. It looks very painting. Okay, um, yeah, like let's, painting. Not, let's not talk anymore. I show you the video, probably you can speak better than me. Okay. Oh? Oh, I really don't like wow. Yeah, I want to lick the tree, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Suddenly, I just stand in the spotlight and I feel like I'm better than everybody. <laughs> Exceptional. Oh. Oh. See, a deer. Even a monkey look better than me. <laughs> the monkey is so cute. Than, than you. <laughs> than me and you. Wow. I feel hydrated. My crops are watered. Must bring wow. waterproof shoes. Really, really princess. Mountain worship. I worship the entire entire forest also. Uh. Ah. Food also eh. Please. Wow. Or culture some more eh. I'm serious. Wow. 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 Sky. Sky. Real time? Yeah. That's some final fantasy sky, man. It's not a photo. Oh. A fulfilling journey. Okay, after watching this, right, I feel like an uncultured barbarian. Yes, very much so. I feel <laughs> like From the city. If From that even happened. Yeah. I'm a city trash. Yeah, city trash. Yeah. So, <laughs> I need to go there and experience nature once in a while. Just be one with nature. And just like, be like Princess Monoke. 
It looks like a piece of heaven and I'm really not gonna lie. Mm. Like if Eden was Somehow, a king, you're married there? Eh? <laughs> wedding? <laughs> No, actually when I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, you can cosplay Naruto there. But sure, wedding sure. Cosplay Naruto <laughs> there! Why not? You're right! You're can. right! Can. can cosplay Naruto there, yeah. what? Look okay. at the forest. Okay. Uh, just an extra trick, right? The coasters that we have on the table now, uh, it's actually made from, made from their cedar tree. <gasps> you know what happens when there's cedar wood? Oh. Well, what are you smelling? You smell because things. you can smell cedar wood. Oh, oh. it's very so, good. Yes, if you guys cannot go there, you can bring a piece of, of the forest with you back home. And remind yourself that you're missing out this COVID. I want, I want to COVID. smell it! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a biscuit for her, you know? <laughs> like a wafer. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so you guys, I don't, uh, don't know if y'all can see, but there's like a little design here. It says, uh, Akushima. Yakushima. 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 Mm. Oh yeah, my Y here is faded. Oh, Ma is okay. Ma is okay, but yeah, they have yeah. a nice Yakushima. imprint. Like, yeah. Imprinting. So yes! Sorry, I know it's it looks really weird, but it smells really good. Let's not being freaky about <laughs> okay. it, Estelle. Okay, but yeah, I mean, but to really, in order to get like the super nice photos, that you really need to like make the effort to go and climb, climb the tree, cross the rivers. Like, what's the most craziest thing that you can do, that you have done to get like a really good photo? You got any examples? Mm, probably the craziest thing is carrying the wings of 2kg. <laughs> that you wore them and then yeah, you walked to the all place. Yeah, the way ah. to Sentosa Beach and wait for the sun to come out. Because it was cloudy, so I had to wait. And I just hang in there. Was it like very early morning or something? Yeah, it was like early morning. Mm. Yeah. Then I had to wait for the cloud to pass. <sighs> then, cloud, got ready, got ready! <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, stress. <laughs> oh, but in the mornings, the photos are wonderful. And I understand because in Singapore mornings, they have like this little misty kind of vibe too. Uh. So when the light shines through, it gives you that overseas vibe that completely fades uh. away once it hits 10 or 9. Okay, 9 la, I wouldn't know. I'm never up that early. La. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, yeah, moving on. Okay, I mean, since we're talking about Princess Mononoke, right? Uh, we actually, we have a location that features the art director of that movie. And his name is oh. Mizo Yamamoto. Okay, he worked on Studio Ghibli's works such as Princess Mononoke, of course, and Grave of the Fly Fireflies, Raputa Castle in the Sky, as well as other movies like The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. Yeah, in a 40 plus year career. Wow, that's older that's, than us. Yeah, man, he's like creating waves in the world where we weren't even a concept, Born. man. <laughs> <sighs> we need to do more of our life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so basically, right, Yamamoto san hails from Goto City, a group of islands to the west of Kyushu in the Nagasaki Prefecture. So, before we started, we were shown a few photos uh, from the city, and these are the ones we picked out to show everyone. So, please check it out. Wow. Yes. Wow, that looks very pretty. Yeah. yeah, it is, it is. Okay, so um, in the city, uh, in this city, Nizo Yamamoto Art Museum houses a collection of anime background art and his own original illustrations. So include this includes his artwork of the building, the museum it's housed in, which was modified from the Edo era summer residence. Wait, this this is the artwork. Oh. I thought it was a photo, eh? I know. <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, it looks so oh, real, right? Yeah. So ah. uh, yes. You can see how, how capable he is. And um, yeah, uh, it was actually modified from an Edo era summer residence and it's located in a castle town that also has many summer residences and former castle site walls. Uh, castle walls. Yeah. Mm. So if you guys want, you can experience the history of Goto and how growing up in the natural surroundings of Goto actually influenced Yamamoto through his art. But very nice. You can actually ah. see, you see the colors, the blues, the greens, very. And the green yeah. is very GB. Super. Mm -hmm. It looks hyper realistic actually. Yeah, actually when I first saw the photo, I was like, there's no way this is a picture. Ah, uh, this is a, 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 a painting. painting. There's no way. But alas, it is. Look at the floor. The gravel. He painted the gravel. <laughs> Who has that much patience, right? <laughs> Him. So yeah, you're an artist too, right? Goofy, you must be like... Whoa. Please, he got 40 years, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he got 40 years. Wait, eh? <laughs> I'm like way, way, way super behind. Yeah, okay, so moving on to the next photo, I think, yeah, Zaya, you picked this photo. Yeah! Right? Hmm, so in the museum, there's a room called the Room of Clouds and Sky, where you can actually immerse yourself in an actual fantasy like anime setting. I love how everything, like, 
all sides of the walls, even the floor and the ceiling are part of the display. Oh, I, I just realized that that is a wall because you can see yeah. the, the electric plugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I actually thought those were real stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I realized. Until you see the plug. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, I mean, the white chairs are at, at the side for you to just relax and enjoy mm. the whole experience around you. Yeah. And this one is really like you lie on the floor and can take photos. So. You like to rely on the floor, I realize. I, I like being horizontal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, next photo. So this photo is actually a replication of Yamamoto's work desk. Okay, they call this an organized chaos mess, which I can relate to. Because you know, sometimes when you make cosplay, like everywhere, like, you can't even see the floor, right? Right, yeah. But actually, I think like, still quite organized, right? It, it is, is very cool. much organized. It is very organized. I mean, as long as you know where everything is, that's perfect. It's not a mess if you know where everything is, right? Mm -hmm. Organized mess. Correct. Yeah, but I think I think definitely I can see himself being very immersed in that, in that his own special space to mm -hmm. just do his masterpieces and everything. Oh wait, also wait, on, on one quick note right, before we move on uh, to Yukiko's picture, I'd like to point out that the museum is part of the Anime Tourism Association on the 2021 so there's 88 anime spots. 88? Yes. 88? Yeah, 88! <sighs> How many lifetimes must I go to visit everything here? I mean, if you have to wait five years from now, I don't know, man. You have to add more years onto that. <laughs> so if you're going to visit places that are featured on this list, here's one more place to go. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you so okay. You get there, you get there. <laughs> okay, next photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is your photo. Mm. So for me, I chose this picture, wow. which is the picture of Takamahama Beach. Mm. So here you can see the sea is super blue and yeah. the sky is blue wow. without clouds. Wow, it's perfect for Perfect for photo shoots, you know. No, you don't like clouds, man. Clouds are okay, what? But sometimes if the clouds cover the light, okay, lah, then then. Yeah, but if you have clouds in a blue sky, it makes very nice photos. You can do like a, a Kimi no Nawa kind of photo. Ah. You know, like the sky. Yeah. yeah. Then you can wear your bikini here, Goofy. Exactly. Then then finally an open exactly, spot. Exactly, finally an open yeah, yeah, exactly. spot to wear the bikini. Yeah. Not in front of a rock, not at a river, at a tourism spot where people wear yukatas, but here at the beach. <laughs> then you can lie down horizontal, right? You like the horizontal, you can lie down here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I approve, I approve. Just as long as there's no like tourists, like, you know, uh, photo bombing me in the background. Ayo, you're looking horrible, eh. <laughs> what? It's like, you take a photo pose, then it, you're like, Shoo, shoo, shoo. Yeah, obviously yeah. Obviously, yeah. you want an auntie. Have you ever had an auntie photo bomb you like in the background? They're just standing like that. It's then a while you're like. It's a space. <laughs> but they're ruining my photo! <laughs> okay, so are there any enemy ideas there, uh, Yukiko? If you like, I supposed to like choose an enemy. Hmm. Hmm. Um, definitely Kenshin? Oh, yeah, yeah. You do a lot of Kenshin in that cosplays as well. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. It, it does look like like the beginning scene of Genshin. Mm. When oh. you play the game, like you drop on in, in like the beach. Oh, yeah, right. mm -hmm. I'm trying to ah. copy here too. <laughs> yes! I'm over there already. Yes. Like, stop playing already. <laughs> you can go fishing. You can just go fishing. <laughs> then I just take out a whole wheel shark, right? <laughs> <laughs> or you can get like, what is it? Like the cod fish, huh? Like the very sad fish one. The one you keep catching and then you're like... <laughs> Sea yeah, a sea bus. Yeah, a sea bus. A sea plus for this sea bus. <laughs> Actually, I, I thought of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kingdom oh. Hearts. It's like a very Kingdom Hearts place. Or oh, Final Fantasy thing where Yuna is like summoning. You can like summon. Yeah, you want to summon yeah. scene. Or oh, when you want to kiss kiss Tidus, also can. Oh, but his was in a river. Okay, you can backtrack and go to that river <laughs> and kiss kiss. This one is more of like the summoning, you know. Summon, yeah. <laughs> summoning yeah. is like That's what she summoned, what? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> you go and watch the video. Then you what like video? Like, and she like, oh, what? She, she like like that, you know, like this. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay, uh, okay, okay. So well, I guess that's it for Goto City. Zaya, we are moving on to the next location, right? Yes, so we've been talking about photo shooting for cosplays or everyday needs at certain locations, but what would you do 
when you cosplay? Like, what's the occasion? Why would you like get up in the morning and just prepare yourself to cosplay? Usually, you do want to join events, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna look at some events, uh, even though, well, we have to wait for the physical events to be available for us to actually attend again. But first up is the Nippon Bashi Street Festa in Osaka, Japan. Oh. Hmm. So, this picture is a picture of the location of the event itself. The event started in 2005 with the theme of electronics, creation, and pop culture, and it attracts people from both within and outside of Japan. Wow. And with regards to creation, it refers more to putting together plamo, plamo. Mm. Do you guys know plamo, 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 Gundam and figures, and with the customization scene that surrounds the hobby. Look at them having so much fun. Mm -hmm. Look at this Spider Man. <laughs> oh, Spider Man! Sorry, I was like, <laughs> Spider Man. I just, I just like the Spider Man. Uh, I bet they're all gathered, then they all do this. <laughs> you, 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 you. you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it looks so fun. I miss events so much, guys. Oh, it, it, it feels like such a foreign concept now to see people without masks and like walking out in public. Yeah. Well, let's hope that one day we'll reach there so we can all go to Japan and actually experience all these events for ourselves. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Japan. So even in events like this, you're supposed to separate your trash, right? So, you are supposed to separate them into two trash. One that can be incinerated called Mueru Gomi mm -hmm. and those that can't be incinerated called Muenai Gomi. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> they have uh, the city itself have like a spe special mue fight trash bag <laughs> as is uh, Goofy is holding right now. Oh my god. It's, so Moeru means bun. Can bun, yes. cannot bun. So they, that's why they play on the words uh, Moe. But trash. they put two super Moe. cute anime characters there. How are we supposed to bun this? I put the trash in there. <laughs> oh but I love the wordplay. The wordplay is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Efforts, man. If they, if they did this in Singapore, I'm pretty sure Singaporeans will be more inclined to recycle. Huh? I think they'll just keep it and not use the trash bags here. Yeah, exactly. Man. I wonder who drew the illustrations though. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very, very cute. I would keep that trash bag. Wait, but I actually think that the illustration is actually done by a very famous uh, illustrator from Japan. Yeah, it looks, it looks very familiar, right? Yes, yes, yes. He's a, <gasps> he, he's a renowned illustrator, uh, Noisy Ito. She. Oh, she, 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 sorry. She is a very renowned illustrator, <laughs> Noisy Ito. So you might know her illustrations from famous animes like the melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi and Shakuga no Shana. Yeah, they have the Shana eyes lah. Like, yes, see yes, yes. I think you can see, you can see here. I don't know if you guys can see on, on camera. But um, there's like oh, a yeah. coloured banner of the two characters here. And you can actually see like the art style in the eyes is very Shana. Yeah, very distinctive. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Oh, she's really very cute. Next time we can cosplay. Really, yeah. As a yeah. characters. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, wow, wow, wow. Do you hear that? Oh, wow. You think like you burn, eh? Yeah, trash taking out the trash. trash. Okay, you know what, Goofy? Bye bye. It looks like we are trash, right? We are trash, <laughs> trash <laughs> people. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, but I feel very. I mean, like. I guess it's like encouraging to use like the trash bag. They want to encourage people to use the trash bag, right? but I feel like people would just rather keep the trash bag. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It is a very pretty trash bag. It's not every day you see like two very cute anime characters on a trash bag. Mm. <laughs> but I think it's a very genius idea. Alright, yeah. uh, there's another oh, yeah. there's another event, right? In Nikonbashi. Oh yeah. So 
Nipponbashi is also known as the pop culture mecca of West Japan, mm. and it's an area filled with otaku culture, with anime merchandise shops and meat cafes. It's centered around the famous Ota Road. So nearby, you can walk and visit popular tourist spots like the Tsu Tenkaku and the Tombori. You can buy like fresh food and the like at the locals' famous Kuromo Market. Or if you're too lazy to cook at home, you can dine out in the back alleys of the Namba. It's just two stations away by Osaka Metro to Tsuruhashi, and you can enjoy a yakiniku. Real neat with a friend or with several friends. See, it looks so nice. Get the photo there also. It's like we smile and tears roll down our cheeks, and then now we drew. It's <laughs> very <laughs> dry at the same time. <laughs> and you're planning your own trips, are you planning? But I'm like one of those people where I go on holidays, I stay Airbnb, right? Then I like to buy food from the kind. Like in Japan, what I did was really I bought food from the markets, and then I actually went to cook. You went to cook? Yes, I did. I did my own yakiniku in in in, wow. in, the, in the room. So is it cheaper? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and if it tastes not that great, you'll just be like, like what's the answer? Yes, yeah. If it's great, it's, it's your, your own problem. Yeah, it's your own problem, whether it's nice or not. But it's a whole experience where you're cooking in Japan. It's like a whole different feeling, you know? So thank you for sharing that, Zia. I appreciate that. <laughs> but at the market, I'm sorry. I really appreciate experience, you know? Different kind of experience. M moving on. <laughs> Moving on to another interesting event in Japan, there's actually a short video. Ooh. Let's look at it. Okay, okay. Waiting for that big drop only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a very anti dance, I better not react. Why are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the music is very happening. I do the Yuna summoning dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a long cave. Oh, that is very long. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, so. This event, why, why is the line so long? Why is the queue so long? It's because the event itself features plenty of appearances by a stunning lineup of voice actors as well as many booths featuring popular titles. So if you don't already cosplay, you can get help and try it out yourself. And if the event goes ahead this year, people could possibly still get the chance to try their hand at voice acting. So in the past editions of the event, there's also like a chance to actually try voice acting in the event. Hmm. Wow. I think the two of you guys will do really well. I can imagine. Who? Oh. The three of the one, two, three. You also ah. Yeah. 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 I will try. But Please. Yeah. Well, I think, I, think, I, think, I think you can do it. And, but I've tried it before. Uh, on a Ooh. school tour. I went to Japan for a school tour when I was in poly. Then we went to a voice acting school and then we just wow. tried. Super difficult to get the timing right. Like really, like, oh. I don't know how they do it. They do it so effortlessly. But I mean, they are paid very highly for that kind of thing as so. well. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very underrated skill. Like, see, because voice acting is not like regular acting. You don't have body movements. But you still have to act with your voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah people think it's like, huh? So your voice, people, like, need people need to try to know how difficult it is. Yeah, it I is. think Ash can say something yeah, about yeah, it yeah. also. Yeah, Ash can, Ash, Ash can. can. Ash went to a voice acting school, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Mm. Oh. I would like to see Yukiko voice act. What? An Ara Ara character. <laughs> try, try. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> why, why, why? why? <laughs> Give it a shot. You never know. It's one of those things you never know until you try. Never try. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you go to Japan, you should try yeah. when you take all your photos there. <laughs> please go, please go. Mm. Uh, Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. Have you guys like actually went to a foreign event and cosplay there before? Mm, really have. Like what oh, country? Where? But, uh, the furthest country. country. No issue. <laughs> okay, it's still it counts. It counts. It still counts. Yeah. Since I've never been anywhere else to cosplay, but I don't cosplay a lot, lah, so it doesn't speak much. But do you find it very different in Singapore and Malaysia? Mm, I feel like in Malaysia, there's a lot, a lot. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> but it's a bigger yeah. country by scale already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then the fans are also like, you know, double, triple, don't oh. know what, yeah. 
it's like the environment different because I would like to think like you gonna different groups of people in different countries to come also. Mm -hmm. So like you know in Singapore when it comes to cosplay scene where everybody kind of knows everybody and then you're just like hey hi but in Malaysia are everybody very friendly as well are they like willing to go up and say like hi we are also yeah. really like oh they are they are yeah, they're really uh, friendly yeah, so outside of Tokyo, there's plenty of like anime related events. So if you happen to be nearby, you can just check it out or you can plan your trips around one of these events so that you can cosplay overseas. So just remember to do your research before you bring your costumes over. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> so how you guys feel man after looking at all these photos? Are you guys pumped? Wait, come on! You guys are <laughs> you guys I'm pumped! I'm, 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 <laughs> I mean, okay, I go, I go. Is, okay, the fact is, although we really are kind of, you know, bummed out by the COVID situation, but that shouldn't deter us from like planning ahead. We can look forward to the want. future. Yeah, it's planning ahead and making sure we know what we want to do, where we want to go before, you know, when the traveling situation improves. You can make a checkbox, you make a list. Yeah, correct, correct. So, yeah. you're welcome, guys. <laughs> you're welcome, guys. You guys doing you guys a favor, man. <laughs> Okay, so yes, and with all that, that comes to the end of our segment brought to you by J. Claire. Thank you guys so much for sharing with us all the wonderful locations that you guys have in store for us. I'm really excited. There's already a few places that we want to go, so thank you so much, J. Claire. Yeah, I want a purple flower tree now. Yes, purple flower tree. That's why I'm going to have my free <laughs> Purple flower tree. tree. That's in my list. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, oh yeah, don't forget that J. Claire has an ongoing survey at the link provided in the description. So yeah. all respondents will stand a chance to win one of the goodie bags filled with items from the location featured in both the previous video as in well as this one. So if you yeah, like including one inside for trash bag also. <laughs> the, uh, coaster, a coaster. And trash bag. <laughs> and more trash bag. Yes, it's one. Exactly, and you will not be able to have this anywhere else in Singapore. Only. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 okay. So cute, right? Yeah, so you can get it in one of the goodie bags. And then, uh, please keep it and don't use it for actual trash. If not, I'll put you inside. Yes. You can take this and laminate. These days, they have all the lamin and the lamination or that thing where they put in resin. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. Then into a big board and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Get creative, yes. guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if yeah. you like one, please join the activity. Yes. Onigaishimasu. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Yiko, for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Experiencing Japan virtually. Yes. We're looking forward to your cosplay photos. Now, since you chose the beach, right, I'm looking forward. I'm expecting those photos from you. Expecting those bikini photos? <laughs> yeah. hey, 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 hey. I did not say bikini photos, okay, guys? I say for the audience. <laughs> For your Genshin Impact cosplays, of course. But yes, um, they are also looking forward to your cosplays. Ah. I'm not excluding you also. Ah. <laughs> to your bikini <laughs> photo. Okay, excuse me! <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you'd like to see more of us, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more if like more new videos to come from us. Once again, thank you guys so much for joining us. My name is Estelle Fly. I'm Zia. I'm Yuchiko. And I'm Goofy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I go and cry one corner now. <laughs> Beginning. Joining us, my name's Estelle Fly. Me? I'm Zia Kuya. <laughs>